All righty. Hey guys, what's up? So I've been asked by my good friend Ayube Martin, who is now back home in Nigeria, uh, to describe a couple of things about my dad. And he sent me a questionnaire and I thought, you know, it would be a fun thing to do since, you know, Father's Day and stuff. So yeah, thanks Martin. Thanks for having me. Thanks for the invite, bro. Hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, let's get this rolling. <laughs> My name is Nos Martin Ayube, son of Sir Greg Ayube, KSGI. Um, my dad's birthday is on the 26th of January every year. My name is Desmond Zuchuku Odelinia. My dad's name is Joseph Odelinia. I mean, we were given birth during the year 1946. Kind of recall the exact day or month. I think he mentioned it just once in my entire lifetime. What's the weirdest thing your dad ever did? Well, it's also the funniest thing my dad ever did to me. So we were on holiday and um, it was back in 2008. I hadn't bathed in like three days, man. And my dad literally dragged me and uh, threw me in the bathroom and locked the door <laughs> from the outside and said I couldn't come out until I was done bathing. You know, uh, strict disciplinarian, my dad. Yeah. The weirdest thing I've seen my dad do was jump on the fence crying for help. One time we were robbed, I was little then, so you know, I saw a grown man on the fence crying for help, even though there was no one in front of him. I understand better now. Mm, the one lesson that I really learned from my dad is to respect him more in his absence than in his presence. Okay, that's um, what I know he wouldn't like. I shouldn't just do that when he's there, but I should do that even while he's not there, even more so while he's not there than. When he's there. So remember where you come from, remember your roots, uh, don't exalt yourself too much, try and stay grounded. I think that was one of the most important things my dad ever taught me and uh, it's carried me this far. Um, one of his best traits is humility, he's humble. Um, his core traits would be he's amiable, he's a pacifist, he never likes fighting. He's principled and honest, <laughs> like take that away from him and he'll still be principled and honest, like he's disciplined and honest, right? Yeah. I don't think my dad has a feel right food, but if I'm to guess, I'd probably say Gary, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Although I, I doubt he has any like special food though. As it's not a, I know of anyways. Favorite food is Semo and Igusi. Well my dad has this penchant for eating weird stuff. Uh, I absolutely loathe uh, bitter guard and uh, dried fish, sun dried fish, you know, it stinks and they're my dad's favorites. I don't know. It's a dad thing. He has a thing for boring colors. <laughs> but if he had a favorite, I would say blue. One thing I'm really thankful to my dad for. Um, dad be training me through school. Yeah, he's made a lot of sacrifices to, you know, train me through school. Uh, you know, not retail. Even getting my bachelor's degree. And for that, I'm really thankful. I'm really grateful. So. Anything else about my dad? Yeah, my dad loves to walk. He loves watching sports. Uh, for some reason, he is very, very interested in tinkering with uh, stuff at home that doesn't need to be repaired. You always see him going around with a screwdriver, spanner, or, you know, fiddling with things that don't need to be touched, man. I don't know, it's my dad's, you know, thing. That's his thing. I would like to tell him, you know what, I um, didn't really live up to his expectations, but I became myself and I discovered myself. So uh, that's a great thing, you know. And uh, he taught me to be like um, like Jesus, pretty much, which is a good role model <laughs> compared to, you know, other people in this world. So, yeah. Okay, one thing I want to tell my dad. Hmm. I'll say he shouldn't, uh, of course he won't, but I'll say he, he shouldn't stop supporting me. <laughs> I can be very stubborn and we disagree on a lot of things. Um, but... What I really like about him, like I said, you know, he's pretty supportive, right? And, you know, like no matter what I decide, if I, there's this thing he often says, like, I'll advise you, but at the end of the day, it still comes back to your own decisions, right? So, yeah, I'll say, um, even though he may not really see things from my perspective, yeah, at least as much as he can, he should still support me, obviously. <laughs> right, everyone wants the support, right? So, yeah. Um, thanks for being my dad. However, reservations I have, um, I still say thanks for being my dad and I love you and happy Father's Day. Thanks for being my dad. Um, love you. <laughs> yeah, even though I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it often enough. I don't think I've ever said it though. But yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Uh, love you, Pop. Happy uh, Father's Day. Okay, thank you very much for watching that video. Uh, I was able to do this uh, uh, in collaboration with my friends Eric Martin and Desmond Gizu. Um, they were really helpful and supportive in this project. Uh, I actually, it was quite short notice. Okay, I approached a lot of a uh, few friends, and only all of them responded. You know, with a short notice. So yeah, thank you very much, guys. Um, hey, be sure to like this video, uh, support the work. Um, trying to come up with you know different things for the channel. Um, yeah, like I said earlier in the previous video, I already have a niche I'm working on. Uh, got some videos lined up, some you know ideas lined up, but just to actually sit down and shoot. <laughs> yeah. Um, either ways, subscribe to the video if you haven't. Thank you very much for coming back if you are already subscribed. Uh, you know, share to all the fathers. Let fathers know that you know um, we are really thankful and supportive and appreciative of all their work for us. Till the next video. God bless.